So the first steps we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start on the car. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the temperature to the car to the hottest where it, um, it can be. And we're gonna go also turn off the AC off. And then we are going to turn off the car next. And then we're going to drain the radiator coolant. For this Honda CRV, we are going to use the Type 2 coolant directly from the dealership and also this funnel system by Lysel. It's uh, gonna all gonna be linked down in the description below. And the two areas I kind of wanted to show you that we're gonna be doing this on is that you're gonna take a look at your engine bay and you are going to see your radiator cap right here. And this is where we're gonna fill it. Also the overflow reservoir right here where we're going to dump that as well. And then we are going to end up changing the peacock right here to open it up. So under the, your car, directly under your radiator is gonna be a peacock right here. It's gonna be white. And we're gonna undo this to let go of the coolant that's inside the system. And we're gonna put it inside of a drip pan and we're going to drain it all out. Um, so I'm not gonna show us uh, removing this, but you're gonna do this counterclockwise. The most important thing is you do this by hand and you also have the option of unscrewing the entire peacock right here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and drain this and then go ahead and open up your radiator cap to make it go by a little bit faster. All right, so the way that this system works is that you're gonna have a series of adapters and different connectors that you're gonna be putting on here. And I'm going to undo this to kind of show you how the system looks. And these funnel parts are gonna have different adapters. They're gonna fit down here. And then you're going to push, compress them down to be able to make a tight connection. And then you are going to fill your radiator with coolant. And then once it's full, we're going to place a little bit of coolant on here and then essentially burp the system by leaving the car on for about 15 to 30 minutes so that any air gets out of the radiator system. The reservoir right here will directly pull up. Go ahead and turn this counterclockwise and you're gonna empty the reservoir in here. I did that part, but I did not film it, but uh, this just basically pulls up. And if you look at the side connectors below there, um, I'll show you right here. That is where it connects in. And uh, you can uh, dump this and then refill it up to the minimum or about halfway through to replace the reservoir. Just in case you're wondering on whether or not the peacock looks like this, I decided to go ahead and pull the entire thing out. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this here in a bit and replace it. And word of advice, whenever you are pulling this through, we've got two catch pans in and it ended up getting on the splash shield right down here. So it ended up spilling out here and in here. Um, so just make sure you have a couple catch pens so it doesn't uh, end up all over your garage, like mine. All right, next steps, so you're gonna pour in the coolant. And you're gonna fill up the radiator up until you go beyond the top portion of this. And I'll show you the next step. All right, let's go ahead and start the car. And again, we're gonna make sure that everything is on the hottest and heat and that our AC is off. And then we're gonna let this circulate for the next half hour. And I'm gonna show you what the system looks like. So as you see, it's gonna start circulating through there and you're gonna see the air bubbles work its way out. And I'll show you the time lapse here in a minute. All right, so this is about the 19 minute mark. It is slowly coming down. So if I were to do this again, I'd probably only put about this much up here for extra. And I'll show you what it looks like at 30. 